What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. This is Emil underscore Traveller and right here I'm standing on the 28th floor building that is Kenya International Conference Centre overlooking the whole city. And if you don't know anything about Nairobi, you better watch this video up to the end. I want to show you how this place looks like from up here. You can be able to see the whole city from here. This is the city view up from the 28th floor Kenya International Conference Center and this is how you can be able to see the city from up here so if you have been wondering how to see the whole view of Nairobi Central Business Area and the entire city of Nairobi from the affluent neighborhood that is uh, Upper Hill, Kilimani, Lavington and now coming back to the Central Business District that is overlooked by the Kenya International Conference and that is the GTC, the Global uh, Trade Center that is that is on Westlands and then I can be able to see the whole city at large. So I want to go at the, give you a 360 so that you can be able to see how the whole place looks like. So make sure to watch the whole video and if you really want to have a whole view of the city you better book me and then i'll take you around the whole city so this is how it looks like so guys that is the whole view of nairobi city So guys, that's how the Nairobi city looks like, giving you a 360 or a glimpse of how it looks like. That is the CBK pension towers that usually to used to be the tallest building in Nairobi central business area, not until uh, the UNEP towers uh, was constructed. So this is how you get to see the whole city. That is the central bank of Kenya or the CBK, all, uh, that is cooperative bank and then that is the Bunge Towers, you can be able to see. A lot of people come over here to take pictures and uh, get to see the whole view of the city. Also, there is a helipad on top of it when we have some delegates who really don't want to use the, the cars. They can get to use the helipad over there. So, while standing here, some of the things that you can be able to spot over here is the building constructed, the Nairobi Expressway, and uh, the tall buildings from Upper Hill, or the richest square miles in Nairobi. It's, you can be able to spot it from here, and you can be able to see a uh, recreational park that is down there. That is the Uhuru Park, or Uhuru Gardens, that was revamped, and uh, everything was... Uh, put into place and um, I'm a little bit disappointed because there were some nice uh, structures that had been elected on that park but they got destroyed when uh, there was the anti-finance bill uh, protests that were happening in the Republic of Kenya but anyway Nairobi still looks amazing still looks beautiful and uh, if you don't know where I'm standing right now that is Kenya International Conference Center was, con was constructed around 1960s and uh, the architecture was a, an Italian architect uh, plus a Kenyan architecture called Motiso, I can't remember the other name and uh, I'll show you how it looks like from down from down there or from down below and uh, the inspiration was gotten from and this is very 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 some people may not agree with it but it's from a donkey pennies uh, inspiration you'll be able to see how the spiral things are done or how it looks like from down below because it looks yeah, yeah it looks kind of like that but you'll be able to see so yep yeah, that's how the Nairobi city looks like so anytime you find yourself in Nairobi make sure to come over and check uh, the whole city or get to see the whole view 
of the Nairobi central business area and the surrounding environment. So this is the only place that you can stand over and get to see uh, the whole Nairobi central business area. And you have to pay a certain fee, I guess it's for the maintenance. Uh, you have to pay like two dollars for you to come over here and get to see the whole city. So uh, for those you don't know, that is the Senate, that's where all everything are done. At the Senate, and uh, yeah, I'll also I'll also show you other things that you'll be able to see in the central business area. Some um, old age architectural designs or architectural houses, what they house and what they mean. So make sure to watch this video up to the end and get to learn more about Nairobi. And if you want to visit Nairobi, please hit me up, and I will give you an exclusive tour of Nairobi City. So guys, I just came off from the Kenya International Conference Center and uh, I had to take my ID. Yeah, you have to leave your ID there so that at least if you do a mess, they will be able to identify who did the, the dirt. So let me show you how the Kenya International Conference Center looks like. You can be able to see it on my background. So that's how it looks like. And guys, I literally told you, how it was designed it was designed in a donkey penis structure you can be able to see those spiral things and maybe that's what they meant by you know the head of mm -mm. so that's how it looks like and uh this is where all the government uh, meetings or parastatal meetings sometimes they happen because uh, yeah this is a conference center this is where everything happens around here so whenever you're in nairobi make sure to come over and uh, visit this area and get to know the history of Kenya because if you are in Nairobi and uh, yeah this is a city that has a lot of history has a lot of fantastic history and uh, most of you don't know that uh, Nairobi wasn't the capital city of Kenya until 1905 when Italy placed Mombasa. Mombasa was the capital city of Kenya uh, around from 1901 to 1907 and i'll talk more about that when we continue talking in the city or we go to the street so let me show you something here so most of you uh, because of the lighting let me let me try and see the best direction that i can be able to show you because of the the sun the direction of the sun so let me show you let me try and see let me try and see so you can be able to see a lot of people taking pictures around here and there is a fountain here the last time I was here there was some function that was happening here but let me show you how this so let me try and see let me try and see let me try and see i'm trying to look for a good view or a good good view so that you can be able to see how, what i want to show you so from here Ah, uh, yeah, this is the, okay, because of the direction of the sun, I want to show you. So this is the statue of the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mze Jamo Kenyatta. So if you got to know more about the Kenyan history, you will know what it means to be the father of the nation or the, the, fa the, the father of the nation. So uh, now you can be able to see it from my background. So Kenyatta was the prime minister during the queen elizabeth lane or the british ella lane here in the republic of kenya and uh, when uh, queen elizabeth or when kenya gained independence that is 1964 or when kenya became a republic he lost to power all he low he went to become the first president of the republic of kenya after so many years of uh, struggling for the independence of Kenya and uh, in his honor this monument was re uh, put here to remind everyone or to show everyone who is the father of the nation so this is Mzee Jomo Kenyatta and he died while well, still in power that is 1978 and then the lane continued and uh, his son that is Huru Kenyatta decided to run for president and he was the previous president uh, that is from 
2013, that era before the current president, oh, Ruto. So that is it. That's how the place looks like. And uh, guys, make sure to yeah, to visit the whole of this place and get to see all these views. Yeah. So guys, let us walk outside. We go to the streets and I show you how the streets looks like. So we off to the streets of Nairobi and uh, get to see how the streets of Nairobi looks like on a Sunday, especially, you know, it becomes a hub of tourism on Sundays. Everyone coming out from uh, maybe their estates or maybe their home to come and get a glimpse of how Nairobi looks like. So when you're in Nairobi, I guess Sundays are the best uh, the best days for you to come to the streets of Nairobi and get to see why Nairobi is so unique and everything that comes with Nairobi. So I want to show you how the streets of Nairobi looks like. They're so relatively clean and uh, a lot of people are just walking around trying to see what Nairobi has, what it entails. You know, there is a lot of things to do, especially when you're in Nairobi. You can do for safaris, you can visit the Maasai markets, you can still go for a safari, especially if you're a foreigner and uh, you really want to go for a safari. You just arriving in the city of Nairobi, maybe like um, an hour after landing in the city of Nairobi, you will definitely be able to go for a safari. So, so this is the the Supreme Court. That is the highest court in the Republic of Kenya. So whenever you are having some court issues or some cases, and you feel like the the court system or the High Court of Kenya or the Court of Appeal doesn't appeal your case the right way, you just come over here and appeal your case. And uh, whenever the ruling that comes and if you want to go to the east african court of justice that's what's up so we're here this used to be this is like the maasai market you can be able to get some amazing artifacts maybe like these clothes the african attires so i will show how where it was previously before it was you know removed all so this is where you get to see some uh, artifacts, caribou, jumbo. So these are just handmade things. So previously, before there was uh, there was the anti-finance bill protest. This is where by the whole Maasai market was. So this is where it was. But because of the anti-protest bill, the finance bill, it was removed. And right now, it has been pushed to the outside premises of this area. Now, on weekdays, this is where it used to be. It always, it's like a parking lot. So, here. So, this is whereby you can be able to get some African artifacts, some amazing safari crops. Let me. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Can be able to see some coins here. These are Kenyan coins. And uh, wow. So let me see. So this is Malawian quatch. This is Malawian quatch with some coins. I'm just checking out the coins and they have uh, intrigued me to just check them out. So let me see. This is one pound. So whenever I'm traveling, I'm always collecting money as my souvenirs. Yeah, so this is, oh, this is the Indian, Indian coin. Yeah, 20 rupees. Thank you so much, sir. 
So guys, you can be able to see some amazing coins from different areas or different countries. Yep. So this is a Maasai market. So when you're ever in Nairobi, you can be able to get some artifacts from here. Yo. These are some carvings from elephants. Can I show my people the carvings? Oh, nice. So these are carvings. What are they carved from? What do they carve from this artifact? Ebony wood. All right. This one is a rosewood. So this one is uh, ebony wood. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, we have some African drums, uh, some Maasai, Maasai shields. You know, if you go to the Maasai land, you can be able to find them with this, those things. So, yeah, we wanna. I think I'll go back and then show you something else. So, anyway, let me cross over to the other side. And then I get to show you how the streets look like. So guys, I want to give you a little bit of fact files more about Nairobi. For most of you who don't know more about Nairobi, Nairobi was established in 1899 by the British, uh, Imperial British East African Company as a railway depot. And uh, the reason is why it was chosen because it had cool waters and also it was a centrally positioned area. This is whereby they could be able to keep uh, their materials, the workers, and also the availability of uh, clean and fresh water could be found from this area. That's why it was easier for them to be able to get or to station this place over to the city of Nairobi. Anyway, and uh, yeah, it, it became a municipality in around, let me try to remember the actual dates when it became a municipality. I think it's 1954, I guess, that's when it became a municipality. And uh, yeah, so Nairobi has a lot of fascinating things to see and uh, to explore. So, uh -huh. let me go to this side and get to see how, what it entails on what it has. So, this is how Nairobi looks like. Man, a lot of people on the streets trying to take pictures, to create memories. And also it's a paradise for content creators. Someone like me, you can be able to see I'm just passing and police officers are just looking at me maybe wondering oh, what the fuck is this guy doing but you know they know a lot of content creators are based in Nairobi and uh, you know we sell our city by creating these videos and stuff so if you know anything about Nairobi that I have not mentioned please let me know in the comment section but anyway let's continue exploring Nairobi and get to see what it entails <coughs> So guys, I think I should uh, stand over here and get close over to the other side and get to explore the whole city of Nairobi. So, and guys, if you don't know, Nairobi is so green, it's so green. Look, a lot of trees everywhere, a lot of trees everywhere, man. So, Nairobi, by then Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya and the biggest city in Kenya with a population of around 5 million and uh, most of the people that are here in Nairobi, most of them maybe come from up country to look for greener pastures or to look for jobs and then when they secure themselves a job they tend to settle here in the street in the in, in Nairobi and its environment so that at least they can have that you know minimize the cost of transport and maybe get to have uh, to maintain their transportation and here and there. So let me go. Let me. I'm trying to see the direction to go to, but anyway, 
Nairobi, Nairobi is nice. Nairobi is so beautiful, man. So. And uh, guys, I hope you got to see how Nairobi looks like from up the Kenya International Conference Center. And uh, yeah, no, this is how it looks like from the ground level, you know. So there's some things that I really want to show you. And I'm trying to see which direction to follow because everything seems so beautiful so uh, eye-catching you know so another thing is that it's so amazing so fascinating and te me telling you that nairobi is so special and you should visit this the city of nairobi is the fact that uh, this is what happens on sundays a lot of dancers, creatives come down here during Sundays to get, you know, to showcase their talent and to showcase that what they can be able to showcase because right now the talent and uh, content creation and, uh, you know, is the, the thing that is paying and uh, is what is giving young people, you know, something to be proud of. So, cannot be able to see, it's a little bit dark because it's uh very late in the evening so yeah a lot of creatives a lot of photographers a lot of dancers here so this is what it happens in the streets of nairobi on sunday so whenever you want to do your content creation or vlogging with ease and without uh, anyone interfering with you this is the only day that is designated for you to come and visit you know so yeah so guys let me show you something that is it guys i'm giving you a glimpse on what i'm giving you a glimpse on what happens in the city of nairobi as i explore the city of nairobi and show you how it looks like so uh in front of me this is the oldest library here the macmillan library and this it was constructed during the colonial period uh something around let me try to remember i can't i will if you know please let me know and uh the fact is it was never it was constructed using some blue stone a blue stone and outside uh, they use locally sourced material that is lime and uh it's so amazing the fact that you cannot be able to paint yeah it's paintable but the thing is you cannot be able to, you cannot paint it you're still still maintaining that uh, old vibe of them of the museum i don't know if i can be able to go inside and show you i don't know if i can be able to go inside and show you how it looks like from inside let me try and see how i can be able to access them uh, the museum so in front of me that is the nation center and that's where all the news or everything is uh, broadcasted from all other stations they have other places whereby you know you can do it so let me show you so from there you can be able to see the Macmillan Memorial Library. So that's how it looks like from outside. Yeah, let me try and see. 
if I can be able to access the whole library from inside but anyway okay so this is Nairobi for you guys so let's continue exploring Nairobi no and when you're in Nairobi you can be able to see you spot a lot of Italy's you know a lot of places to eat so when you're in Nairobi and you need to eat whatever you want you'll be able to get some hotels that serve you that what you want so this is Jamia Mosque Jamia Mosque and I guess this is the biggest mosque in Kenya the biggest mosque in Kenya I guess the biggest mosque in East Africa is in Kampala, Uganda. If, um, please correct me if um, I'm wrong about that information. Yeah, but I know this is the biggest mosque in Kenya. So there is Kilimanjaro Hotel. That is one of the favorite. Uh, this is whereby the YouTubers or other people come to meet over. So let's continue exploring Nairobi. Yeah, you can be able to spot some Swahili things or some some foods or some you know snacks that the muslims of the swahili people who are residing in the city of nairobi love having you know so let's continue exploring nairobi so let me i don't know okay let me show you something so this is this is Mwidibingu street and this is the one street is considered to be one of the most beautiful streets here in Nairobi so this is whereby you are going to find a lot of uh, people who are just don't want a lot of commotion and thing taking pictures from here so you can be able to see so with the bingo street and uh, what makes this street look nice is the art that has been done on this building over here so let me show you so. a lot of people taking a lot of pictures here guys you can be able to tell even the lighting changes you know it's so beautiful around here so uh, initially this uh, section of the of Nairobi was known as the red uh, the red light zone and uh, this is where by hangars or the plane were hanged during the uh, colonial period era so they had constructed this building as a hangar but after they decided to go back and uh, Nairobi started growing as an administrative area, as a business or a commercial hub and all those things. So they decided to maintain the aesthetic of the, of the city. So they decided to renovate uh, this section of the city and make it look, you know, a little bit of artistry. And uh, yeah, Nairobi City County, this is a city market. So you can be able to go in there, get some... Uh, artifacts maybe from the Maasai or flowers meat and all sort of things from inside there so yeah so guys please comment down below and tell me what you think about this video you know so guys the building you can be able to see in front of me this is the Kipande house and Kipande house was constructed in 1913 by an Indian uh, businessman he was called Naya it was formerly known as Naya after it was named after that guy who was sent by the in uh, Bank of India from India to establish a base here and uh, it was later uh, used as a a place whereby you can obtain your national ID and it was uh, commanded that by the then uh, governor of Nairobi 
so this is how it looks like and this was the first this was the tallest building back then before this building was constructed where is it uh, yeah this building was constructed so this is whereby if you wanted to do business no 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 not business if you wanted to move from one area to another this is whereby you could be able to obtain your national id or id that could permit you uh, moving from one region to another right now it houses the kenya commercial bank or the kcb yeah 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 so guys my gopro decided to you know freeze on me when i was doing that uh, vlog but you know anyway i'll show you the other sections that i have not shown you actually it's also raining here in nairobi so it is wise for me just to wind up this vlog and let you know that you know there's some sections that i really wanted to show you about the kipande house uh, the morubi national museum i wanted to show you but anyway there is always a, a next time so uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, like the video comment share with your friends and uh, you know if you can be able to support me by buying a new gopro well well and good i'll really appreciate so i hope you have enjoyed that episode and make sure to stick around subscribe and see you on the next one ciao nairobi is raining right now actually i'm standing on the rain so see you on the next episode